no idea why, but I literally only feel comfortable filming when I've got a bun in my hair. Like I always do it like with my hair down and then afterwards look at it and I think, oh God, your hair looks crap. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, the pregnancy symptoms that I've experienced so far. So that is from week, uh, well, I was gonna say week one, but do you have a week one when you're pregnant? Yeah, I guess you do. Um, but from like right from the start through to week 32. So generally they've been like fairly similar. Um, so hopefully there'll be no like significant changes between now and birth, but obviously there might be, and I will just link them in the comments or do an update video. I'm not really sure yet. So I've filmed this video already, but like I said, I'm having some serious hair issues today. Um, I don't know why, but I only feel comfortable like doing films with, doing films? Um, do films, doing videos with um, my hair in a bun. I don't know why, but um, so I filmed it with my hair down, decided it looked crap, and I actually didn't like the format of the video. So I've tied my hair in a bun, and we're gonna try again. So in the previous format, I split everything by trimester. There have been quite a few uh, symptoms that have kind of ex like gone over the whole pregnancy. So I'm just gonna talk about the symptom, and then I'll probably talk about where it's fit in, if I can like to the best of my memory. Okay, so we'll go through my nice long list. So, Obviously at the start, um, I had quite bad nausea. Um, so it wasn't like awful. Like obviously you hear about people getting really bad morning sickness and stuff. Like I fortunately was never sick, but I would just get nausea like throughout the day, probably like pretty much every day. Like, and it would be like a general groggy feeling. Um, it could be managed. So if I made sure that I ate something, like didn't get too hot, didn't get too cold, um, drank lots of fluid, then it would get better um, and it would pass. But yeah, if I got too hungry, then like it would get pretty bad. Um, it didn't last for very long, which was nice. But yeah, that kind of hit pretty early on. Um, the only thing I really wanted to drink to make it better was tonic water, like Indian tonic water. But I wasn't sure if you were allowed it. Um, and I kind of heard mixed things. So didn't carry on with that, but just drank uh, like uh, the San Pellegrino um sparkling water things with lemon in them they were amazing or just any kind of drink that's got some form of um lemon in it is amazing um so the next one was extreme tiredness so just generally throughout pregnancy i was pretty like i've been pretty tired i don't have to, like lots of my thought yeah so generally throughout pregnancy i've been pretty tired um in the first trimester like one of the significant things that made me think maybe i was pregnant was that i was really 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 tired um like i'm quite a tired person anyway but this was like a whole new uh like this is like a whole new thing so i would fall asleep by like about eight o'clock every day like in the evenings and that would be it like i would be so tired and um, i think like rich found that quite hard to deal with just because he was like what's going on like what was going in like what's going on with you but um yeah that was quite hard but at the same time you just have to do what your body wants you to do and just get on with it really and just sleep <laughs> um and the next one uh, so i had quite bad hunger like uh, i don't know if this has really gone away actually um it was probably more to the first trimester but i think it was more noticeable then because it was really important if i didn't eat then i would get sick like nauseous so it was probably more noticeable then that i'd always have like dry snacks with me so i'd have like granola bars or biscuits or just something that i could just generally like chip away at um but yeah just through, throughout my whole pregnancy i've been quite a hungry person like i've ate quite a lot um i haven't really been that considerate with what i've ate which is probably quite bad but my kind of take on it is that i would rather eat something and get full um than be hungry like because there's something about feeling hungry when you're pregnant that just doesn't feel right so i've just ate kind of what's easiest what's most convenient and what's at hand um baby brain definitely started in the first trimester and has stayed with me my whole pregnancy so I've been, I don't know if I would say like forgetful, like there's been forgetful patches, but like it's not been that bad, but it's more like I've been like tongue tied or easily confused or um, I forget words. Like the whole pregnancy, I just like, you've probably noticed it in videos, I'm like, what's the word? Um, yeah, I just forget words really easily now, which never used to happen, but I've got so much in my head all the time that there's like something had to give, like there would just be no room. Um, so yeah, so that was quite a big one. Um, 
because I thought baby brain would be more of like a later pregnancy thing but it literally was like from day dot I've been a bit a bit dippy that's the probably that's, that's the best word for it um what else so in the first trimester, I would say it stayed in the first trimester and left, like didn't like didn't follow through were food aversions. So um, I can't really remember what I didn't like. I know I didn't like tea, which is so unusual because I love tea. Um, and I was so happy when that came back, <laughs> like I could drink tea again. But yeah, for the whole of the first trimester, like uh, it's just the smell of it even, like the like, hot milkiness of it, like made me want to gag. Um, and then anything that was like too um too complicated like so not that it's complicated but like a curry or a stew like anything that was too rich that's the best word um i just couldn't stomach i just wanted really basic bland food so like kind of a lot of carbs like pasta potatoes that would like that was my happy place to eat like carbs but yeah anything that had like too much going on too many flavors it just was not for me in the first trimester Okay, so let's keep going. The second trimester was amazing. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So also throughout like the first, second, and probably the third trimester, there has been like a level of irritab irritability. Can't say the word. I've not been myself completely like for the whole pregnancy. Like I've been very easily annoyed. Um, I like my personal space quite a lot at the moment like I get really easily claustrophobic which I think is quite reasonable like when you're growing a human out the front of you like it's quite a daunting thing to be in like closed spaces and stuff um but yeah don't really like too much like it's really hard for Rich because he's really affectionate and I'm just like get off <laughs> like if he wants to cuddle on the sofa or whatever like I'm not I don't I can't do it and it's not that I don't want to like it's just when when you're pregnant you're like bigger you're hot you're sticky you're claustrophobic like and i just can't do it um so i've been quite irritable um my temper's probably shorter i would say um and i've had like mood swings so like i can just like burst into tears at any point for no reason whatsoever like it could be good tears it could be bad tears like i'm way more sen i've always been like, a really sensitive person anyway but i'm way more sensitive than normal um and yeah just things upset me but yeah i'm hoping that goes back to normal like because i know i'm probably not like the best company i think we've all just learned to get on with it now um so yes but yeah the second trimester i really enjoyed uh, initially i got a really big bout of energy um i felt like i could like probably cure cancer and like solve all of the world's problems and create world peace and um, i'd be up every day at half past five in the morning go downstairs like clean make coffee iron like loads of shit um yeah like i was really on form and i, I must have just got like a huge surge of like good hormones um, but as quickly as I got that little surge of good hormones, I got a surge of bad hormones at around 21, 22 weeks. I got, uh, like, probably, I would, yeah, I would probably say it was postnatal depression. Like, it was never diagnosed or anything, but, like, I think me and Rich kind of, from our research, came to this, like, came to the, um, agreement that it was. Um, I am, like, not a very, well, I never used to be that in tune with like mental illness um so like rich had his problems in the past and stuff and i kind of have, although i'm really sympathetic like i couldn't get like my head in that frame of mind um so for me to suddenly turn around and say that i think i have prenatal depression like it it probably was like pretty bad and uh, like rich kind of came to the equation that like as soon as i said it he was like christ okay fine um so yeah so there was a week where probably a week to 10 days where um I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, I can't even describe it, it was horrendous. I'll probably do a separate video on this because I think it is really important. But, um, yeah, like, it was really hard. So I would go to, like, work and I would feel not anxious, like, I wouldn't have anxiety attacks or anything, but I would just not want to be there. Like, I wouldn't want to be in a big crowd. I wouldn't really want to talk to anyone. I wouldn't want too much noise. I just kind of wanted to, like, shut myself off a little bit um come half 10 every single day i would literally be nearly in tears and um and, like no i would cry about anything like it, there wouldn't even be a reason i would just get into like this sense of doom i would cry and then about half an hour later i would feel okay uh, which was really frustrating 
um, and then just generally I didn't want to do anything like I wasn't motivated about anything so normally like work really motivates me my blog really motivates me um, just doing things around the house really motivates me and none of it was giving me any sense of drive or like wanting to do anything at all so that was really really difficult um, luckily it did pass I was really scared that it wouldn't and I was really scared that it was going to develop into something bigger um, so really fortunately it went and then like come later in the second trimester the third trimester I just started to like balance and just feel a bit more myself and stuff so that was good but yeah I said it, like, I'll probably do a separate video on that because I think it is really important I think it's affecting more people than they realise like than you realise until you hear about it um so a funny one oh so yeah second trimester did I mention I had heartburn yeah so the second trimester uh kickstarted heartburn that started and that was really hard like my whole second and third trimester has been plagued by heartburn and acid reflux um and it gets really bad like it gives me quite bad like panicky like bouts if I lie on my back or there's too much pressure on my belly like I get hot sweats and I like but like you're gonna be sick um or if the baby like gets in an uncomfortable position it's horrendous like i had no idea how bad heartburn was until i got it so i normally like just deal with that by either having something cold like milk or ice lollies or ice um or um i take gaviscon um, but i only take gaviscon if it's like really really bad like i try not to too much um a funny one is that i've had like i had leaky boobs so i had those really really i really want this to be a quick video and it's already 11 minutes but it's fine um yeah so leaky boobs so they started really early and it was quite funny because my like husband rich made a joke one morning that he was like you're gonna get leaky boobs soon like don't forget about that and i was like no like because this is around like week 21 22 again and i was like no that doesn't happen for ages yet that's like third trimester shit that we're dealing with there um and he's like mm, I think you're gonna I was like mm, no um and then that night he felt his first baby kick so um obviously the baby was moving before but it wasn't strong enough for Rich to feel it and um, so he felt his first baby kick which is like a really special moment and then as he pulled away he was like your boobs gone <laughs> it was like just like damp my t-shirt was soaked it was disgusting um so yeah that was nice and that hasn't stopped like for my whole pregnancy and it does tend to react more to the baby so like the more he moves the more it leaks basically like they seem to be very much in sync I haven't really done anything to like monitor the boob situation I've just kind of let let it go um so yes yeah, so they tend to react more to each other what else is on here uh, leg cramps that really surprised me so like I will just get woken up probably from the second trimester onwards like I'll just get woken up on random nights with really really bad leg cramps um and like I expect some of your like like partners in the past have said like yeah like I don't know I think every girl has heard from boys how bad like leg cramps are like Rich always complains about how bad leg cramps are and I was always like yeah okay fine but it's, it's so bad like I couldn't believe the pain I was in like from leg cramps it just wakes you up and you are like bolt upright it is agony um so your labour is going to be so, so much fun um so the third trimester uh like not much has changed everything's kind of balanced out uh so heartburn has been very much predominant and getting like i start to get really uncomfortable uh back pain has really started to flare up as the baby's got really quite big now um i think he's quite big it's quite scary to think he's gonna get so much bigger um but yeah as that's kicked in like back pain has been like a real thing um and just to get in a comfortable position that suits the heartburn the baby and me is such hard work and once I'm in it that's it like you have to get me tea you have to change the channel uh I would mess in nappies if I could like so I didn't have to go to the toilet but yeah it's really hard um and night times have been pretty difficult um so uh yeah back pain uh in the third trimester swollen ankles have suddenly come in which I really really didn't like um I don't know why like there's just something about feeling just generally bigger that is um it kind of plays yeah I guess you feel a bit insecure about it like having bigger ankles and swollen feet makes you feel a bit crap about yourself so I didn't like that and that did go quite quickly I think it was probably more the heat because it's like two weeks ago so in England it's pretty hot so I think that was probably why and luckily it has gone 
Um, Third Trimester has brought on Lightning Crotch, um, which I've only just heard about as an actual thing. I just thought I had like really odd, like uh, odd body. Uh, but that's just, yeah, where you get like a really sharp pain in your crotch. Sometimes it like, especially in the third trimester, it can really throw you like, you're like, oh God labor is imminent <laughs> um which it isn't it's just like a sharp pain and it's gone and the third trimester the one that's really worried me is leaking pee um because any form of like uncontrolled leakages when you're in your third trimester are concerning and yeah we already had a hospital scare about this like because one day like my pants were just wet and i was like i didn't feel anything come out so that's not we like that's not I think I was more embarrassed so we just rang the doctors and they're like just come in and just check and it was like it wasn't amniotic fluid basically um so yeah and that's happened quite a few times since like the baby will just give you a good old kick in the bladder like and you have no say over what happens to the contents of that bladder basically they're coming out um so yeah that's quite embarrassing like it doesn't you know it doesn't really affect you like it's just like a little bit um but yeah it does worry you sometimes like obviously when something leaks out of you and you have no say of what it is like it's quite worrying but yeah it's fine <laughs> um so then throughout pregnancy as well just generally i've had really bad shortness of breath like i find it quite hard to get like catch my breath and it's obviously like as the baby grows he's shrinking my lungs and yeah <laughs> like i just that that's just kind of happened the whole time uh, a lack of energy i think i talked about that a minute ago but yeah just lack of energy generally like i couldn't do the things i could do before in the start i just didn't have the energy and now like i physically can't do it so like the whole of the pregnancy i have been able to like hoover the house um and but i just had like take a lot more breaks so like before pregnancy i just hoover it all down and be done and now i would do like a room that i'd stop have a drink sit on my phone for a bit and then do another room and i just it would take a lot longer to do it but i can still do it and then on sunday like we do like all our housework on a sunday and just like job share i normally do the hoovering but i said to rich I, like, I literally couldn't even lift that hoover if i wanted to like i, I physically couldn't like get into my head like moving the hoover around it was just too much of a big task so he did the hoovering so it's just stuff like that like you just generally see like your energy deplete um and then i've had a hairy belly for quite a long time um some people have said that like it's an old wives tale but i think but some people have said that it could be linked to having a boy like obviously you have extra testosterone in your body um but i'm not 100 percent sure that that's true like i used to get like the odd belly hair anyway so i don't know but yeah hairy belly like but this is now like i've got like soft downy hair too as well as like the odd like dark hair um stronger nails they've come in pretty recently but they are like claws at the moment i just had to file them down because they were so long it was ridiculous i normally have gel nails and i haven't bothered to do that for weeks just because i couldn't be bothered um and they're just growing at a ridiculous rate i've never seen anything like it um it's insane um and then i've also had like i think this was more second trimester i had really bad dandruff and dry skin for a long time um, and the only thing that's like shifted it is obviously the glory that is head and shoulders um but yeah that was quite an embarrassing one and then yeah that's it really i think i've put baby brain but i think i've covered that off in this video i'm pretty sure i've covered it off if i haven't i did it in my last video so i'll just stick in the clip so yeah so quite a few like mixed bag things like there have definitely definitely been symptoms that i really am quite shocked by uh, like um the like um this is baby brain literally baby brain's really shocked me um being quite emotional has shocked me like because i just i'm not normally that emotionally charged so for me that really shocked me anti depression that definitely definitely took me by surprise i was not expecting to get that uh, what other ones are on there dandruff didn't know about that didn't know that about leg cramps didn't know that was a thing uh shortness of breath didn't know that was a thing uh what else leaky boobs i didn't realize that really happened until after the baby came out um so yes there have been some weird symptoms in there that have shocked me um but yeah i just want to cover it off in a video really just to kind of talk about it um so i'd love to hear whatever symptoms that you've had or what you found odd or you're expecting or do they run in a family or anything like that um just leave a comment let me know um please like and subscribe to this video please 
what am I talking about? Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this is going to be a Wednesday video, which is the first Wednesday video, I think. I normally try and post Mondays and Fridays. But I'm going to try and do three videos a week, which is going to be a real challenge. Um, just because I've got so much to talk about before this baby comes that I literally need to just get out. Um, otherwise, it's never going to happen. So I'm going to try and do three videos a week, which is going to be such hard work. So I'm not promising that it's going to stay but we'll see how we get on so i hope you enjoyed it it's been much longer than i thought it would be um so sorry about that and i hope you stuck around to the end um but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye